Paul, yes, uh-huh. <laughs> Just looking at a summary of Section 3771 of Title 18 of the United States Code, yes, the Bill of Rights for Victims of Crimes Committed mm -hmm, in Violation of the Federal Law or the Laws of the District of Columbia, oh, <laughs> defines victims as anyone directly and proximately uh, harmed by such offense, yes, <laughs> individuals and legal entities alike, yes, <laughs> Now, numbered among the rights it conveys are the right to be reasonably protected from the accused. Oh, the right to notification of public court and uh, parole proceedings and any release of the accused. <laughs> the right not to be excluded from public court proceedings under most circumstances. Yes. The right to be heard in public court proceedings relating to bail, the acceptance of plea bargains, sentencing, and parole. <laughs> the right to confer with the prosecutor. Oh, <laughs> the right to the restitution under the law, and the right to proceedings free from unwarranted delays, the right to be treated fairly and respect one's dignity and privacy. Now, the section directs the courts and law enforcement officials to see to it that the rights it creates are honored. Both victims and prosecutors may assert the rights and seek review from the appellate court should the rights be initially denied. Oh. You know, uh, as the individual that's been accused of numerous crimes that I didn't commit, yes, <laughs> it seemed that after I informed the court, uh, the police departments, that hmm, uh, issuing court orders without any due process in 2011, yes, and then having me arrested 24 days after I contacted the domestic violence advocacy, yes, <laughs> And then uh, reissuing it when I was found not guilty. Yes. <laughs> and then reissuing it by mail, ooch, publication and personal service. <laughs> and then not attempting service after court hearings, but waiting nine weeks later. Yes. <laughs> and then initiating it to be renewed again on June 1st of 2015. <clears throat> I have the right as the victim to be protected from sheriffs and law enforcement. Yes, in fact, pooch, every time you arrested me. Now, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking the sheriff's manual that clearly established rights of citizens. I should have been housed in a hotel a long time ago, but you didn't want to see me as a victim. Oh. Well... I am, <laughs> and I have the right to be protected from those in law enforcement because I'm the one that's suing the sheriffs. I'm suing the police officers, Ouch. <laughs> I'm suing the prosecuting attorneys, yes. <laughs> I'm suing the public defenders, Ouch. <laughs> I'm suing the judges, Ouch. <laughs> the o o oaths of office that had sworn, Ouch. <laughs> and as the victim, I have the right to be protected against each and every individual that I'm going to sue for the refusal of the first